Hey guys, what's up? I'm Boyka, and today we're gonna be going over top 5 every day to do stuff in Genshin Impact. So this is gonna be all stuff you can do and you should do every single day for you to be most efficient in the game as possible. And one of the first things you should do is come here to Catherine. And the first two things are you, you're gonna see right here, are like recognize them, is the Claim Daily Commission Reward. How you're gonna do this is basically after you have opened the game just go to the task of your quests and here you're gonna see four quests that have this symbol on them and that means that these are daily commission rewards after you have completed them you come to Catherine and you will be able to uh, complete the daily commission reward you're gonna be able to claim it and the stuff you're gonna get you can see actually up on the book right here if you go to commissions, you're gonna see the today's daily rewards that you will get right here. After you have completed them all, you will get all of these XP and all of these materials. As you can see, it's actually real good stuff for every single day. You will get really a really good amount of uh, XP. You will get really good amount of Primo Gem. Who doesn't like Primo Gem? And uh, I think this first reward changes every single day. I'm not quite sure, but yesterday I don't, I don't remember getting that. But after you have completed them, you're gonna go back to the quest, uh, uh, to the task of your quests, and you're gonna click to story quests. And as you can see right here, I have only two right here because I have completed one of them. If you're below Adventure Rack 32, you're gonna, you're gonna be able to see every single one of them, and there are three in total. And how you get them is basically the first one you're gonna be able to unlock at Adventure Rack 32. The second one is 34, as you can see right here, and the third one is 36. And how you unlock them is with these keys, the, the purple keys you have right here. And how you obtain those keys is by basically doing the daily commissions, as you can see right here. Complete eight daily commissions to receive a key, four out of eight. So after I complete all of my four commission rewards for today, I will be able to collect this key right here. And with that key, I will be able to open the quest, uh, the story quests I have here. And this one is for Jean. And the one you get at 36 is for Venti. They're basically uh, really short story quests that you have for these characters. And you get a decent amount of uh, materials and stuff like that after you complete them. But basically how we get them is by doing your daily commissions. You, you get the key and then you unlock the story quest. And then the second thing I you should do uh, uh, right here at Catherine Astra is go to the dispatch character on expedition when you're early in the game you will be able to only uh, dispatch two characters and those two characters you should put on something like these uh, white irons or the crystals right here we have and if you put them to 20 hours if you can see at f four hours we don't get we don't get that kind of amount of materials then if we go to 8 hours, we start getting crystals, 12 hour more crystals. And 20 hours, we get less white iron, but more crystals, as you can see right here. 2 to 3 crystals, but more white iron. At 20 hours, we get less white iron, but we get more crystals. And the person you should use on Mondstadt is, I haven't used him yet to show on the video. If you go to select character, you can go with Bennett or Fischl. But official, I can't use her because if you send them to expeditions, you cannot use them on your main team. And since she's on my main team, I won't be able to send official out there. So that's why I'm going to be sending Bennett. And what Bennett does is basically uh, he reduces the time on the expedition by 25%. When dispatched on an expedition in Mondstadt, time consumed is reduced by 25%. So instead of it, it taking 20 hours, as we can see right here, I'm going to put Bennett. And it's gonna take 15 hours instead of 20 and as you can see right here this is the second place you unlock and you get more characters there and the thing I farm myself is like I send my characters to expeditions is basically the food the radishes and the carrots and the white iron and crystals because this is the thing I find most use of and you should also send your characters to go for the white iron and the crystal right here as you can see and three of my characters go to white iron and crystal and finally one of my characters goes to radishes and carrots and why is because 
white iron and crystals you will need them a lot in the future because you will be able to let me go to the blacksmith if you go to the, come to the blacksmith you will be able to craft new weapons right here as you can see i can craft all of these materials all of these weapons but the ones i want to craft are these right here this one and this one and so i have to find from the bosses uh uh, Northland, Northlander sword prototype or if you come here Northlander claymore prototype after we have found them as you can see right here we are gonna need the prototype uh, crystals and white iron uh, and after you have done uh, gotten them gotten the prototype you can basically craft it it takes I think as you can see 10 seconds uh, up there it says and you can basically refine your weapons and what refining does is basically increases the stats of your weapon if you come here and click enhance refine and as you can see these percentages are gonna increase with every single refine I do and the max you can refine a weapon is five times so you can increase the percentage of the weapons by five times but not like the main stats they have like different kind of stats that you can go to the weapon that you are using click refine and just read what kind of stuff uh that weapon does and what you can increase on the weapon those are the two stuff that you should do every single day and this is number one claim the daily commissions and dispatch characters on expeditions and the second one is basically battle pass quests the battle pass quests in this game you don't have to have the battle pass to be able to do them so you just basically come to the battle pass right here we have daily missions that you can see do every single day of course that's what they are called daily and after you have completed them you get uh these like kind of points bep that uh, that increase your xp in the battle pass and then we have weekly that you can do every single week and as you can see right here most of them i have done i have only four left and this uh this is a monthly which is basically for the whole battle pass after this battle pass is over and you have completed all of these challenges you're not gonna get new until the new battle pass comes so with every single new battle pass these are gonna be refreshed but for so we get three of these per one battle pass and these are the stuff you should like do uh, the weekly is just focus on them because I have four days and 15 hours left and I'm gonna be able to do every single one of these right here there are like only four left and the dailies are basically uh, stuff you should do every single day login mine 10 items complete for daily commissions of course we are, th that was the first thing to do uh, and use a total of 150 origin resin and i'm gonna talk about it right now and these are the stuff you should do on the battle pass and for the origin uh, resin uh, you have to fight bosses if we go to the map and uh, we can see only two main bosses that are like this wolf and uh, he's uh, th they're the ones that have like cooldowns the the uh, the wolf boss as you can see right here he is called uh, he's called dominator of wolves lupus boreas and if you come here to the rewards you can see that all of these uh, prototypes that I'll talk about on the blacksmith you can get them from the wolf and you can get more like uh, stuff from only the wolf tail of boreas that's his name and these are the stuff only you can get from once uh, per like week I think we have 152 hours and until it refreshes again as you can see right here it takes 110 hours and the next boss that has a really big cooldown uh, is the uh, storm terror or, or uh, also known as the dragon if you come here right here you're gonna see that he has also the prototypes but this time we have different types of difficulties and this is the difficulty I can do right now because I haven't reached adventure act 35 yet but after I get uh, 35, I'm going to be able to get like better stuff, as you can see right here. But and it's going to be, of course, more stronger. But these are also stuff you can do only once a week because he's a uh, once a week boss. But other bosses that you can farm right here, are you going to see is the animal crystal, uh, the cube, the animal cr cube. We, co we come down here, we see the electro one and we have one more. I forgot where it was it's right here and it's the geo one and basically the stone but we we have like uh, different types of monsters uh, or bosses all around the map that require resin after you have killed them to uh, take the uh, rewards from them 
and you can see them right here if you open the book and you come to bosses and as you can see uh, these two bosses require resin this one uh, these two require 20 of them for you to compete uh, for you to get the rewards from it but there is also monsters or like small bosses like this one right here which do not require resin for you to complete uh, for you to kill them and then take the reward and this one doesn't require resin either this one doesn't require resin either neither does this one but if you come to the cube we see that it requires 40 of it you can kill it but you you won't be able to take the reward unless you give 40 resin and this cube right here also requires 40 this is the ice flower you, it also requires 40 this one doesn't require anything so you can go and farm this one and this is the another uh, flower this is the ice flower you can also farm it with no resin at all you can get the rewards with no resin there is like uh, bosses that don't show uh, on the map uh, actually they don't show on the map my bad they're right here but some of them w might not show if you haven't like unlocked them yet which means that you're you haven't like discovered them yet this is one type uh, uh, this is Mondstadt and this is Liu if you come to Liu that you, you're gonna see two more bosses that require uh, 20 resin this one requires 40 this one require nothing 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 and 40 again and 40 again this one requires nothing 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 and nothing so these are basically the small monsters or bosses as you should call them because they're called bosses but they're like small monsters that are like power more powerful than the others that don't require resin so these are the ones that you should like go farm if you don't have any resin but first go and farm those who require resin so you waste the resin you have per day because per day we get 120 as you can see up there and if you click on it you're gonna see when you get another resin i get it in five minutes and if i want 120 to be fulfilled fully i have to wait five hours and 17 minutes and if you go to one of the bosses one of the bosses that require resin and click on the question mark you're gonna get the information about the resin and as you can see right here it says that every single eight minutes we get one resin fulfilled so what you should do is like as soon as you open the game do the uh, stuff you uh, the, do the st uh, first stuff i told you the daily commissions the dispatches and come here and farm the bosses and after you have farmed the bosses you will use your resin to unlock it and it will start recharging after because if you reach the max the limit 120 it's not gonna start recharging until you have used it all or like used like 40 of it as you ha i have done right here so i've done i've used 40 of it and in four minutes there are gonna be more that's gonna recharge but it gets only recharged once uh, one resin per eight minutes so it's gonna take a while but like it's better than nothing and the fourth thing is uh, farming domains and normal monsters and the domains also require resin uh, to collect the to collect the rewards if i teleport to this one right here and click to enter it as you can see reward collection cost it says 20 so i will need 20 resin after I have I have completed this one uh, this uh, domain right here, for me to be able for me to be able to complete these rewards, the ones I get from the domain, I will need to give out twenty resin. So these are the stuff you should like farm, because if you go to the map, and go to this domain right here, and click on the question mark, you can see that all of these books farm on like different types of days. So as you can see that mon uh, Monday and Thursday there is like different types of books this one is called freedom this one is called resistance and this one is ballad so basically every single day we get different types of uh, rewards this ones we get on monday and thursday and on sunday we get all of them in one place this one we get on tuesday and friday and the ballad we get on wednesday and saturday but basically all of them are then collected in one in sunday and you can farm them all in once but you should like better just go and farm them uh, by uh, single because it's better because here you don't know if you're gonna get the ones you need 
if we come to this domain right here we're gonna see that the, it also changes every single day and these are the materials that you need to upgrade your weapons for example i needed this item today for uh, for me to be able to enhance and upgrade the weapon of uh, my razor and i did i just went there and farmed it so just go here and check out in different types of domains which items are gonna drop for the day you're playing and if you need that item go and farm it and if you even don't need the item just like go there and farm it like two or three times and so you have at least a few of the materials in the future when you need it it's better like to have it than not have it and just, then just like wait a few days for the item to arrive in the dungeon uh, and then you have to like go there and collect it so better to have it in your hands than wait a few days for it to like load the whole thing and the last one and fifth one is gonna be basically collect every single material you can find in the map and what that means is like basically every single thing in the in this map right here in this game every single thing we get as drops we need it in the future we, as we grow up as you can see on this tree right here i have two eggs and what you need need the uh, eggs for is like reviving your characters if they have died these are the the eggs are the material that you uh, cook the food with to like upgrade your character uh, uh, revive your characters my bad and as you can see i found a sweet flower and the sweet flower was one of those things that your characters could farm on the uh, daily dispatch and as we go around the map you're gonna see i have left these things i haven't farmed them for today so i can uh, show them on the video but you can see right here we have carrots we farm them we have radishes right here but as you can see this one right here is moving that's a monster it's basically waiting for me to like turn around so it can attack me from behind more radishes right here another monster right here two of them more carrots they're basically waiting for you to turn around so they can attack you but as you can see on the map i have pinged one place it's called artifacts and the reason it's called artifacts is this is a thing you can farm every single day by the way you come here and as you can see right here there is like a secret entrance after you have entered that here there are gonna be boxes just destroy these boxes because there's food inside it i found some chicken wings and stuff so as you can see right here these pots are shining and if this is your first time coming here there is gonna be a chest right here so you can open it and take the stuff inside it but basically you come to these pots click investigate and as you can see right here we are gonna get artifacts from them and those are stuff in the map that like respawn every single day that's why uh, we have so many if you open the map click once as you can see we have we can pin 99 uh pins in total that's why the game gives us so many pins because if you find something that is like rare or like secret just go there uh, and ch uh, choose the pin that you want to pin there name it and then go there every single day and farm it and those are the stuff that you should do every single day basically farm everything you can find those lizards if you go to them they give you lizard tails without even killing them you just collect it if you there's one more if you destroy those leaves right here those bushes they have a chance of dropping you stuff too they have a chance of dropping you eggs they have a chance of dropping you uh lizard tails and one more item that i forgot the name of and i couldn't find any but they're like they're not in every single one but basically just farm everything you can even like these small animals they give you raw meat the trees respawn and there's like three uh, these slimes that i haven't killed in a while i think and as you can see near the teleport here i was at the teleport and if you look down the beach there's like this ice flower that does not require any resin to get the materials after you have killed it it's gonna attack me here i'm just gonna kill it real quick it's only level 41 it's not like a really strong monster but as you can see after i have killed it it immediately drops the items it doesn't require any resin for you to open the rewards and you just collect them so these are like uh, that kind of small monster that you can like kill every single day collect the materials for them and they're not gonna require any resin so basically you just go there and waste like two minutes of your time to get the materials you need and those are the stuff that you should do every single day 
the fifth one is just like basically going around the map if you don't have any more quests anything to do just go around the map and look for stuff to find maybe you have chests that you have missed maybe you have some bosses that you, ha that you can kill that like uh, if you don't know the time of respawn and i'm actually gonna leave a link in the description it's gonna be the first link up there that is gonna be for an ma interactive map for Genshin Impact and there's a lot of materials that you can select and it's gonna show you all of the materials where they are placed sadly it doesn't say when they respawn or like if they respawn at all but you can go there and collect them that you can find uh, every most of the items uh, items there most of the materials not but not every single thing but uh, it's still like really helpful it helps you a lot like to go through the game helps you find stuff and there you can also find every single Anamuculus and Geoculus I have made also a video on how uh, on the Geoculus is there if you want to check out and just go there and check out the link you can find every single thing you need there not every single thing as I said again but most of the stuff that you need and I'm gonna see you on the next video bye bye